Hello, my name is Scott Turner and welcome back to my channel For Me Industrious. In this video I'll show you how I went about making a simple folder. Um, this is not a pan break, it's just a, it's a basic folder where you can do two parallel bends, make a Z um, type, like a gutter, like what I've just showed there. Um, to make it a pan break, to make a box with four, four bends, four opposite sides, you would just need to make some simple adaptations and I'll show that at the video's end. So this metal fold has three major parts being the stationary bed and that's made of 100 by 75 by 8 millimeter steel and then the clamping bar and that's made out of 40 by 40 by 5 millimeter out of two pieces. Uh, I welded those together and then the bending arm is a single piece of 50 by 50 by 5 millimeter steel. Then you need some miscellaneous materials like springs. I got those from a washing machine, I hope my wife doesn't mind. Some threaded rod, in this case 16mm M16, and some nuts. And some some um, some tube section for the handles for the bending bar. So right here I'm making the hinges and I'm just difficult, I like to make these things. And of course you can go out and uh, buy these from, from your hardware store. For cutting of steel in my workshop I like to use my metal band saw. It's a lot quieter than using the, the drop saw, the friction saws, or the grinders with cut off wheels and it's just a bit better for when you've got neighbours around. Though sometimes you do have to use the grinder um, simply because the piece of metal is just too big to fit in the saw or too awkward. The reality is however, the next door neighbours have probably just got used to the noisy bugger in the shed next door. I love these rotary cutters, uh, better than twist drills, they're obviously for bigger sizes than that but uh, they cut through the steel like butter, I love them, they're great. So these are most of the pieces cut out now for the folder, um, all laid out there, um, now ready, getting ready to, to weld it all up. So this part of the build I really stuffed up on, uh, that's the bending arm and it's made out of 3mm steel, I think it's 50, 50 by 50 and because it's light gauge I decided to strengthen it by using those triangular gussets and, uh, and, and really I overcompensated, I over engineered it and, uh, and it got a bit of, uh, bit of warpage when I started welding and um, I decided to, to do away with it in the end, you'll see it coming up.
little bit of confession time. Now, as I've welded these joints up, the, the hinges yesterday afternoon, uh, they were slightly misaligned and I put the handles on to try and lift it up and it cracked this weld off. And now I can see why, because the hinges aren't perfectly parallel. I thought they were parallel because they were sitting in this plane, uh, but they're obviously not. So I need to grind this weld off here and fix that up. One of the other little problems I have, this is such a thin material, it's three millimeter steel angle, and that's about, I don't know, about six mil, that's very, very heavy. Um, I, and I did put these little triangle braces in. It's the amount of flex. I'm hoping you can see that in the video. The amount of flex, and you want to be able to pull that up nice and evenly. So what I'll do to counter that problem, once I get this handle out, just to put a bit of flat bar on here to make it like a torsion box. I'll weld it on and uh, that'll stiffen everything right up. I am such a goose. Just notice a little bit of bend coming in here, so I've got to try and counteract that bend. Um, I'm going to try and put some tacks to shrink the uh, the surface and uh, try and counteract the, the welding that I'm doing down the sides here is causing a bit of uh, heat distortion up at this end. Up here is a bit of uh, it's, it's dipping away a little bit, and I've got to try and fix that up. All right, I've I've relented. I'm going to change. Uh, materials I'm going to use this this heavier gauge steel this one's just too too light I tried to compensate for its lightness by beefing it up with gussets and and that's not working so I'm gonna I'm gonna change over to using this heavier gauge for the, for the bending bending arm So I need some clearance. I use this two-part polyurethane because it's durability, it's far stronger, far harder than the acrylic paints which would easily scratch and I brush painted. Unfortunately I don't have a setup for spray painting, um, I need some extraction system for that and I don't have that yet but in time I will. So I've left this, this hole, the lower side here, um, pretty sloppy, so this, this top um, plate can can move so obviously when you get a, a piece of steel uh, so that's three millimeters thick and that's that's only about uh, less than a millimeter thick this one here you need to be able to compensate for the for the uh, the thickness of the material so this allows you to move it in and out when you've got the, the spot that you want you just tighten it up to that spot on both sides evenly and uh, then, then you just bend it up and that seems to work really good now I said at the beginning of the video that this is just a basic metal folder, not a pan break where you can make boxes. Now that's true. Now you can make some modifications to this basic folder um, so that you can make a box. In this part of the video I'm just demonstrating just exactly that. Now I left the, the threaded 
bolts or the threaded rod long enough so I can raise the top clamping bar and high enough to clear a side. You see the sides of the box that I'm making right there. I put in a, a bit of plywood and some some spacer bits of timber there. Now that's clamping down. Now I can bend it up on that particular angle to form that side of the box. And so therefore you can make boxes with this this style of of metal folder, this basic metal folder. And in this case here I'm just bending up some scrap uh, one millimeter mild steel from an old sheet that I had and I, I'll take it over and weld it up and then clean up, clean up the, uh, the welds with the grinder and that's it. So I appreciate everyone for hanging about and watching and let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. I'll talk to you soon and I'll see you next time. Thank you.